Africa. The next contender in our countdown of extreme body snatchers slaughters two million victims every day. Fall asleep in front of a column of driver ants and you're in big trouble. A colony contains up to 20 million hungry mouths. So anything that gets in their way is eaten. Which is why this sausage fly may have made the mistake of his life. The column of female workers tear off his wings. But he isn't killed. Often called a sausage fly thanks to his swollen abdomen, he's actually a male driver ant the biggest ant in the world. The wings were just to help him travel to a new colony. Driver ants are number eight in the countdown because they kidnap the male and keep him captive until a young queen is ready to mate. Having your wings ripped off may seem strange, but all kinds of animals do crazy things when they're in love. When we meet someone special, our bodies get taken over by love drugs. The strange behaviors we associate with love are actually physiological changes that begin in our brain. If you got time. Early in a relationship, the brain produces chemicals like adrenaline and dopamine that stimulate the nervous system. And according to Italian scientists, these neurotransmitters explain why falling in love may make you feel a little disturbed. Their study found that a love-struck person's blood chemistry was similar to that of someone with obsessive-compulsive disorder. Sufferers experience high anxiety and often feel compelled to repeat tasks like hand-washing and cleaning. When researchers compared serotonin levels between 20 lovesick Italian students and 20 people with OCD, they discovered that both groups had similar levels of the brain chemical. But the first flush of love doesn't last. When researchers tested students a year later, their serotonin levels had returned to normal and their obsessions with their partners had died down. But at least these males didn't have their arms torn off. Unlike the sausage fly's wings, being dismembered by a horde of 20 million female ants is a strange way to meet a mate. But at least the male gets a happy ending, unlike the victims of the body snatchers coming up in the countdown. body snatchers heads back to a time when it was hard to find good sailors. That's why the captain would go in search of volunteers. Land lovers would be kidnapped, even if it meant rendering them senseless with alcohol, drugs, or a sharp blow to the head. On the west coast of the United States, any man alone in cities like San Francisco, Portland, and Seattle could wake up on a boat heading across the Pacific. Since a city in China sounded like a suitably exotic destination, the victims were said to be Shanghai. A similar thing happens in the natural world. Only the members of this motley crew have six legs. Swarming in to number seven in the countdown are Amazon ants. This is a raiding party, and the Amazon scouts have located a colony of black formica ants. The 
the Amazons quickly crush the heads of any resistance. Leaving a trail of destruction behind them, the body snatchers quickly head underground in search of buried treasure. They're number seven in the countdown because they forcefully enter the Formica ants' brood chamber, stealing their eggs and cocoons. Then they head back to their own nest with a booty of Formica babies. The Amazons don't have to guard their Shanghai victims because newly hatched Formica ants become imprinted with the odors of their captors. And then they're put to work, cleaning the nest and feeding the body snatchers. The Amazon ants' massive jaws are only good for two things, killing and kidnapping. So the emerging Formica ants are forced to forage for food and regurgitate it to colony members of both species. They spend their lives as slaves, but at least they're kept alive. Unlike the victims of the body snatchers coming up at the countdown.